and I'm back down at Park Point today putting some floor leveler in that trough that was there try to build it up a little bit before I put the subfloor on I'm sure it'll need more on top of the subfloor The tapers came in and did their job and considering what this place was like they did a very nice job all the corners are straight clean sharp the ceiling to the wall lines are nice crisp and clean all in all real nice job So anyhow, the flooring and the cabinets are supposed to come in today. So I'm going to have to try to bust butt on getting this subfloor in. I'm just using 3 8 CDX plywood for the subfloor. Figured we go 3 8 instead of quarter inch just to try to span a few of the lumps and bumps in the floor. I'm using a two and a half inch heavy ring shanked nail about every six inch centers just to hold it down, try to keep the squeaks from happening. I'm not using any resin paper in between for the simple fact that this is probably going to be the third or fourth layer of flooring. I just snapped the chalk line at 48 and a half inches off the two corners of the wall and extended the line through the uh, foyer area just to try to keep everything straight. Makes my life easier when it comes to cutting around obstacles. why I wear hearing aids.
material is all out on the street side, so I gotta carry everything around the back side without starting up walls. I apologize about the lights in the background, but all I'm doing right now is just cutting the sheets down to size anyhow. I was just using my 20 volt dual circular saw just because I was being lazy and didn't want to go out to the trailer and grab an electric one. Now just finishing up with the foyer area, running the subfloor through the closet so we can run the floor continuous right through. homeowners and those just starting in the trades remember to wear hearing protection And this is what it looks like finished. There's our pile of flooring. It's an engineered plywood, but it's a hardwood maple finish. I'm going to have to open up all these boxes and spread them out throughout the room a little bit to let them acclimate to the uh, humidity in the house. Manufacturer recommends three or four days so we'll let her sit. And there's our cabinets all boxed up. So the rest of the day will be probably moving things around again. At the end of this video, I'll leave some more pictures of some of the previous projects I've done. Just gives you a little scope of what different things we all do. If you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and share, like, or even comment, good or bad. Thanks.